All right. Okay, it's really good to have a Google account, especially in our case because we want to use Google Webmasters, right? Because otherwise, how are you going to see all your links? Some of you guys are trying to see your links this way. You go here and you look up the link colon, which is something that we used to always tell people you could do. That's when you're trying to get links and it would be, you know, your domain.com, like in our case, we just got started. We don't have any links. And so there's no links, right? And some of you guys are looking for these links. And it's not true that um, that you have to see links here. I mean, I got I got PageRank, right? SiteMarketingSolutions.com. And I'm linked to on like 200 accounts, but it only shows two results and they both come off my site. Okay, so this by itself doesn't mean much. This just means they don't show links unless they're like PR3 or better, whatever. And th those are the only links you see here. But at the same time, it's not true. This is a cool new feature. PageRank is actually shown for each individual page. Now, NA really doesn't mean much. It just means Google has an index to it has. Uh, but they say, don't worry about that. Okay, um, reality check is that's kind of cool because now... You know, my main website page rank is PR3, and then uh, individual page ranks for the individual pages of my site are different, which is pretty cool. It does show that now, so you can actually see the page rank of individual pages, which is something you could never do before, really. And, um, yeah, like I got ones and threes and twos and NAs <laughs> all across the board. But if I log into Google Webmasters, I see a whole different story. I see like 197 domains linking to me, some with even 17,000 links, okay? That's how I got my PR3 in the first place, okay? It was just lots and lots of backlinks. And frankly, I'm probably well above PR3, but I need to wait a month or two or however long from all this latest work to see if I cracked into PR4 better. Uh, and some guys have done that already. They just did big runs real fast and pushed them out. Uh, let me see. But it's really good to have a Google account so you can use Google Webmasters and add your sites, verify them, and see all your backlinks. So how do you do it? Well, if you go to Google.com, okay, if you don't have a Google account yet, here's how you do it. You can just hit sign in. And then on the sign in tab, if you don't have an account yet, hit sign up for a new Google account. And then when you do, there's not much to fill in. Choose a first name and a last name. Choose some username, and it's going to use it for at gmail.com. So try to be unique with that. It'll tell you if it's already taken. Create a password. You know, you don't really need the email, but that's just part of how you sign up for a Google account. It's no big deal. I think this is optional about birthday. If it isn't, use a fake birthday if you, if you mind. Gender, you know, male, female, or other. Uh, choose what you do there. Mobile phone, yeah, and other email address in case you lose access to your account, you forgot your password or whatever, and you need to get it sent to you, things like that, okay? And um, they say, we can send you an email alert if we see unusual activity in your account. Never had them send me an email alert, never ever. And I think unusual activity in my account would be some guy in Pakistan is logging into my email. <laughs> this is the best I can figure. <laughs> then prove you're not a robot. And you can agree to the terms and service you have to. Uh, this is do or don't. It's up to you if you want to let Google use your account information to personalize the plus ones and content and ads. You can say yes or no. And then just next step. And then they'll send you the confirmation email and stuff and you can log into your Google account. That way you can log in with that email and you can log in with that password. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just log in with one of my accounts, supportemojicrew.com. That's not where I keep the majority of information for the work I do, but I can log in. Now what can I do? I can go to Google Webmasters. So instead of the HTTPS, I just want google.com slash webmasters. And since, and I got to sign into it, but I'm signed in, that should do it. And it did. Okay, there we go. Now, the first thing I want to point out, I only put these in here for just showing people. You can put like an unlimited number of sites in here. Okay, you add a site every time. Anything you control, anything you have access to uh, by FTP, you can add it here. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, let me point this out because this is extremely important. We got Moji Crew and www.moji Crew. We have Moji Samples and www.moji Samples. Any idea why? Hmm. 
taking a sip of coffee that was my fake <laughs> oh you don't know okay that's because not all your data is going to show up underneath one of these things and so what we're going to do now is add another site and again you can add like unlimited sites anything you have access to in ftp so we can add a site now i want to add four websites and that means eight really because i'm going to do the www dot and the non www dot version of all those sites uh if you were to ask what about doing the subdomains, you know, like uh, building-websites.moji-samples.com? I think you can add it. I haven't actually tried. Some people have, and they know. Maybe someone will tell me. <laughs> Other than that, you can just test it. No reason not to. You can always test it. Don't be afraid of doing anything here. All right, so now what do we need to do? We need to add a site. And so let me see. I know I have my websites. I'm going to add these. So what is... A URL of a website I want to manage. I just put it in mojipro.com. Okay, in this case with a www, I'm going to add both. And here's what it does it says download this HTML verification file. And so I click it, now I'm going to save it, and it's on my desktop. And that's all I needed. I have it there. Okay, and so if I minimize, I see it here. That's this a little verification file. If I open it, it just looks like that. That's all it looks like. There's nothing else there. Okay, I don't need to open it. What do I need to do? I need to put it in the root of my website. And actually, I can put the same one, because it's going to be the same thing, in the root of every website. So let me just do this real quick. Let me get over to my desktop. And actually, for those of you that wonder, you can drag straight from your desktop. So I'll just do it that way. Wap. And there it goes. It uploaded. And then I'm going to go into the Moji Dash Pro and upload it to same one. It's basically the same file you always get for your account. Okay. And then I'm going to disconnect because I want to do the other two. So here we go. Building websites today. And it's the same thing for the www dot version and non. And then also building websites now. So I'm going to put it in the root of there. Okay. It expects it to be in the root. Okay, now I can disconnect because I have it all done. I can even toss this because it's so easy to download again. And I have it. And I can make sure I can see it. See how it shows you the root? That's why it says put it in the root because it expects that. And it's there. So now I can verify it. Boom. And it's done. I can continue. Now it's going to show me the screen, but there's no data. Even if there was a lot of data, I just added it. It's going to take it like 24 hours uh, to actually add all this stuff in. Uh, and so you're going to have to wait a day to see any data. And again, I only did www. So I need to do the other version. Ready? Add a site. What do you want to manage? Mojipro.com, this time without www. And it says download and make sure you see it. And I already did. I mean, it's the same exact file. I don't even need to check. I know I put it in the root. So I can continue. And you know, if you put it in the wrong place, it'll just tell you. So it's not an issue. Webmaster Tools. Add a site. Let's do the other one. Moji-pro.com. And I put it in the root. So I'm just going to verify. And then I can continue. And then I can go back to Webmaster Tools and add it without the www. Just continue might be afraid of doing all this because it seems like what we're doing is so weird you know black hat or something but it isn't that's the whole point it is white hat as weird as that is to believe and you don't have to worry about anything we're doing here we're not going to get in trouble for anything we do all right so let's do the rest building websites today and just remember that this time I did not put a www die I'm going to hold down my shift key and arrow across so I can copy that it just makes it easier for the other version. And verify. And continue. And now let's do it with the www. Sounds like a long process, but wonderfully, you only have to do this once for every website. Then all the projects you do on those websites, I mean, you just come back to these to see them all. Okay? You don't need to do this with every project you do. Just the roots. Okay? Just the main websites in the first place. All right, last one. This time with now. Now. 
control A, control C to copy. Whatever way you want to copy. <laughs> I got it. And now I need it with the www dot. And remember to check both. Don't just check one because you're just not going to get the full picture on one. You'll figure out which one's showing the majority of your data. But you can keep both in case one day someone takes off backlinking you without the www dot on a lot of stuff. And that's part of why you're seeing different answers, you know, all the time. Now, I just added all my sites. Now, again, there's nothing to see in any of them until the time comes where I actually do something with some of the stuff. It'll take a while. And uh, that's the way it is. And if the site had been around for a long time, then you'll see other stuff. Oh, well, there it is. It's all added. And that way you can come back and go checking all your stuff from day to day. You can see what's going on. Do you want to submit a sitemap? Yes, we can submit sitemaps now. Which ones do you want to submit? We did our sitemaps with www dots. So that's where we do the submitting of the sitemaps. So hit that thing. And now it says submit a sitemap. And it says submit a sitemap. And where where is it? Well, guess where it is? Building dash websites dot txt. Remember, it's got to be. Oh, I'm sorry. Slash sitemap dot txt. That's how that goes. It's always going to be something slash sitemap dot txt. Control C. That's where it is. And so if I got the link right, it'll be able to find it. It's been added. It's not showing me anything about whether it's downloaded or anything yet. I got to refresh. And now I can see it's OK. And it's got 69 links in there because I didn't do a really big run. OK. I could add the other sitemaps if I wanted to. You can add an infinite number of sitemaps. So if I want, I can actually go in here if I'm just trying to speed things up. Which one was it? Building websites now. That's this one. And if we, oh, I don't need to refresh there. I just need to go in. Like, for instance, we had a how to SEO. That has a sitemap. If I want, I can do that. It's inside the building website, so just keep that in mind. Submit a sitemap. It's going to be the whole building websites anyway, but it's also going to say that how to SEO. Whoops, let's do that again. Ready? How dash to dash SEO. Okay. And that's good. And it took that. And it even caught that real quick. Now that's like connecting to my site. So I can do it for all of these if I really want to. I don't really need to. Once it finds the, the root part, then it can find the rest. Then it just makes sure that the root part, or that this is connected to the actual front page of the website or some other top level page. That it can get to those links from the front page of your website through any combination of clicks. It just has to be attached somehow so that those links are not orphaned. Okay, orphan links mean no matter how you click around from the front page, you can never reach any of those pages. That's why we always have to create a link to our project either on the front page or the About Us page, the Contact Us page, or some other page that the front page connects to. Doesn't matter what page, it's just got to physically be there. Now, reality check is whatever pages we're backlinking, they can share page rank. And so it's nice to put um, the links to our projects on the index page. That's our best page rank appeal if we're backlinking our index page. <laughs> okay, we can backlink anything on our website. We can backlink all the pages on our website. And so then we could have a link on any one page or multiple pages and it works. It's good. Okay, let me see. Let me go do another one. Uh, building websites, sitemap, right? That's that kind of a thing. So let me go to another one. That was building websites now. So I want to do the www.buildingwebsites today. And I do want to add a sitemap. Submit a sitemap. Submit a sitemap. And that's this. And that's the same. And it's going to be there. You know, I can refresh to make sure I got it right. It should take in a minute. Sometimes it doesn't take right away, but that's okay, especially if you have big sitemaps. Okay, I got both of those. Let me go down to Moji Pro with the www dot. Submit a sitemap. That's why I copied that link, by the way, because it's the same in every case. It's just so much easier to do it this way. Okay, and then I don't even have to wait for it. It added it. So, and I know that the link's going to work. I can always verify it later, but it will. 
because we know it exists and we know we printed it right because it's all the same same wording and everything okay now I could just wait a second and refresh and I'll see it anyway see so there you have it that's all good back to webmaster tools so we're all good we did our job now Google can start to index those pages and we're gonna be able to start to see how many pages they index simply by going to google.com and eventually doing a search for a site and it can be something like this with or without the www dot it's not gonna care it's gonna do the preference either way you can do the checks both ways just to make sure okay and same thing now you're thinking why is it not there and the answer is Google's got to go through and decide what it does and doesn't like about your pages and decide which ones to index and it's gonna index them slowly it will not be overnight okay the reality check is anywhere from let me do that again just to get in there okay anywhere from these sitemaps Oh, that's right. That's because it's not the www. Let me just flip to one that is. Okay, I just flip. That's a cool shortcut button, by the way. Okay, for flipping across all your sites. Anything it does index. Here's the question: How many URLs are in the web web index? Now, from any number of days to any few months, even it and really it can be that long, project by project. It can be zero. And then it can be finally, well, it can be this, and then it can finally be zero in like a day or two or a week, and then, or even three weeks, and then it will finally be some number of pages, and that will just grow with time, which is the weird thing, but that's the way it works. And it can take huge jumps in single days. You know, there is no one rule to it. The closest we've been able to figure out is if Google thinks that your website is of national appeal then it gets to it quicker than it would if it was sub geographic appeal like a Tulsa landscaper is not as important for nationwide or worldwide searches as uh, whatever automated forex software how to build a chicken coop anything you can think of that has nationwide or even worldwide appeal you know, English wide at least, because it's you know your pages are in English. There you go. By the way, I had somebody ask, can you create English-based pages with backlinks in different languages, like Dutch? Yeah, if the if the characters work, you know, do some test pages, make sure so. If they do, it will work and it will count. Google does not care if you have an English-based page and it backlinks in Japanese to some Japanese babysitter in Tokyo. And there, Google assumes you know why. Maybe you are that Benton Harbor Mother's Day flower provider or something, and maybe you are working in a community where most of the people are Japanese who walk in your door. And maybe there is a reason why they want to be able to um, uh, look up a babysitter back in Tokyo. Uh, who knows? And so if you have that link, you're just providing the service. Google does not have a problem with that at all. It likes to see the world connect together. It likes to see websites point each other out. Even cross language is perfectly okay. And the smaller version of that is when you have a section of your website in English, another section of your website in Spanish, another section in some other language, French, who knows. And you just have links in Spanish, links in French, and so on. That's perfectly fine with Google. It likes all that stuff. So there you go. There's how you create a Google Webmasters account, add your sites into it, submit your site maps, and come back and check your progress as you go. So for all the guys who were mystified by how that worked or whether we did it, the answer is yes, we do it. That's how it works. There you go. <laughs> okay.